Cloud chase? Yes. I don't know how you deal with this man every single you day guys of your life. You guys could He's a six-year-old. Right? Gonna... Someone of clout chasing? Be above it and live your life. It's just weird. Take care of your woman and go live your life. That's all I got to say to you. I don't know which makes me happier. Chelsea reading Joshua film or whether it's Marshall pretending like he's not there and minding his own business and saying, thank God I moved on from this. Or the fact that Jackie is reaping the fruits of her of her labor you know she chose a toxic relationship and here she is crying in the parking lot but hey so i digress hey there thanks for stopping by welcome to my channel if you're new here don't forget to subscribe click the like button leave a comment uh turn on the notification bell for when i upload new videos it's your girl valerie in this episode i'll be reviewing love is blind season 4 episode 16 after the altar Oh my god, I don't think Love is Blind will have another season that will surpass uh, Seattle because it's nice to see, even with Flag Football, that people actually are able to mix and put their differences aside and actually, you know, focus on what it is they're there for. Obviously, Josh was trying to be extra and Brett had to call him in, had to sort of pull him in. I think this is why they were put on Brett's team because they thought Brett is the best person to rein him in. They didn't want Zach to have to deal with all that mess. And <laughs> the girls as well. It was cute to see them really participate and put all their effort in. Chelsea had to cheer for Tiffany even though she was on an opposite team. And it's like, oh, that's sweet. And um, it was nice to see them sit down and actually have conversations because like Micah had a conversation with Chelsea. And Chelsea, Chelsea read her for Phil. Uh, seriously, how could she tell her that? I don't think your person is in Seattle. You need to go to Brazil or somewhere. You just need to go. And it's like, oh, why would you say that to her, you know? You should feel sorry for her. She really tried her best or she she tried as much as she could and Kama caught up with her. So this is why she is where she is. And it was also interesting to see Amber have a conversation with Paul and sort of reach an understanding that they are no longer sort of love interests, but they can try and sort of forge uh, a, a friendship. And they're both moving uh, away from Seattle because they're moving to warmer weather. I think they said they're moving to San Diego. And it was like, oh, that's sweet. Um. I don't know. I think maybe Amber was more into that relationship than Paul because Paul felt very awkward. Even when he was speaking to Amber, Amber was all into the conversation and he was just trying to be standoffish. And I think this is because, as he said, there was this scandal about him being accused of touching someone's bottom. And so he's trying his best to make sure that he stays out of trouble. Um, obviously, there were going to be people that were very competitive on the pitch. Uh, Zach's team won. And you could tell... Tiffany wasn't having it. Brett was okay. He just knew it was a game. People, but there are some people who are very competitive, such as Kwame. I think if Kwame's team had, had lost, <laughs> oh my God, it would have been all out war. He would have been very upset. Uh, Chelsea would have had to go home and console him. But it was nice to see that they won. And it was a good good, good team building event, in, in my opinion. I think it was a good team building event because nobody felt left out. Nobody felt isolated. There was no sort of picking on someone or sort of making someone feel less than whereas in season three there was all that Paul scandal so I really love this and I really love how they went about it and give you leave it to Zach and Bliss to try and put a positive spin on any, on anything no matter how bad it is because I think Bliss tried to lead by example by being on the same team with Irina and not sort of bringing up any of their past history which even Zach acknowledged so I thought that was cute so they host another event it's Chelsea's birthday I don't know why we always have to celebrate Chelsea's birthday. Can't we celebrate somebody else's birthday? But anyway, maybe it falls around time of filming. Um, so everybody comes. And surprisingly, Mike has got two friends then. It's like, why bring more of Micah's friends? Why can't you bring some of the cast that were actually on the show so that they get exposure instead of continuing to bring Micah's friends that are not relevant to the show? Even Shelby, we don't want to see her. Anyway, uh, so Marshall pulls Jackie for his hat and I like how he handled it because he acknowledged that their relationship wasn't great and it's sad that he was really trying to push for it to work and he might have pushed Jackie in ways that weren't necessary. He should have just accepted it for what it was and just let it run its course uh, and he sincerely apologized for that. And I like the fact that he didn't involve any of their previous drama. He didn't bring up, you refused with the ring, you said this about me. You said, no, he just apologized, took ownership and left it at that. And Jackie had no, no sort of 
no sort of room for any back and forth with him so she was like oh uh, no i accept your apology um they both acknowledged that they were happy that they were in a good place and i like the slight shade i felt it was shade you might think otherwise when a uh, marshall said to her i hope you you chose the right person for you and i hope the two of you are really happy and it's like well seeing what we've seen i don't think they're really happy i think josh is entertaining is enjoying the ride because it's getting clout but i don't think he's really as into this relationship as they try to make it out to be with jackie and um, jackie on her part wished uh marshall the same and Mar marshall explained that he was in a relationship and he was happy you know my stance on marshall's new relationship if you listen to my previous review but hey if he's happy i'm happy hey so irena pulls amber for a chat and now I get an understanding of why Irina and Micah bonded together. They lack the inability. They don't have the empathetic gene or feeling in them. They, they lack compassion. They lack accountability. And this is why they get along. Because she said, don't just speak to Amber. And was sort of trying to apologize in her Irina way. And she wouldn't take responsibility. Because she started lying that I didn't see that you were crying. I just knew that there was some emotion there. It's like, Irina, it's on, it's on, it's on camera and the production is messy because they actually replayed the scene she saw that amber was crying she could see that amber was crying and they were making fun of it they just wanted to hear exactly what paul had said in that date and that's it i don't know why she didn't go about it the martial way whoever told her that she needed to go on this apology tour didn't sort of coach her in what to say and so it it came across as she was trying to sort of rewrite history and sort of just say, I'm sorry, just for the sake of it, so that she can turn around and say, I did apologize to her in person and it was recorded on after the, the after the altar, so everybody should forgive me and move on. And it's like, nah, that's not it. That's not how you apologize. That's not how you apologize. And Amber just said to her, be better next time. And it's like, no, she should have said, Amber, I'm so sorry for, for my behavior during you know the show i'm so sorry about how i made you feel i'm so sorry about minimizing your your feelings and not showing any sympathy towards how you were feeling because at that point your heart was breaking i apologize for my role in that sort of scenario I and I want to tell you that sincerely from the bottom of my heart, I am truly sorry. I know it doesn't mean much to you now, but I am really sorry. I have taken time to sort of reflect on my behavior and I've grown and I hope to do better next time. And I think that would have made more sense than what she said, because what she said didn't make any sense to me. It might have made sense to other people, but it didn't make sense to me because the sorry lost its sort of weight. As soon as she started saying, I didn't know you were crying. That's when it lost its weight to me. It's interesting how everybody uses after the altar to revamp their character especially if they've had backlash from the fans or if they've had what they feel is a negative uh, sort of edit they try and sort of use that time to go on their apology tour and revamp their character and sort of try and get on the good graces of the fans because i don't think the conversation between paul and micah really needed to take place because micah was saying that Paul is always leaving the door slightly open, which is confusing for her. And she wants them to make a decision. And it's like, if he's dating someone, that means he's closed the door on you. If he still had feelings for you, he would not be dating somebody else. The moment he started dating somebody else is the moment the two of you were over. So there's no need for you to, to sit down and have this conversation, especially given the fact that he revealed that you broke up with him. So if you broke up with him and told him you're over, why then do you need to have a conversation? Why then do you need to discuss anything else? You told him it was over. He moved on. He found somebody else. And that's the end of it. We don't need to hear anything else. Anyway, you then have Cassia sort of having a conversation with Jackie. Because apparently Jackie in the pods was friends with Monica, Kendra, Kesh, Kasia. And uh, since then, I think she's fallen out with Monica because of the issue with Josh because Monica was engaged to Josh before so as soon as she finds out Monica is coming she runs to tell Josh because she feels that you know uh, Josh might want them to leave because he doesn't want to see Monica and their proposal was shown and it was I see why the producers decided not to, not to pick them because you can actually see when he's mimicking and sort of walking around and what's saying whatever you can see that Josh is mimicking Marshall he's not over the fact that Marshall got Jackie when he wanted Jackie and I think this is one of the reasons why you can actually hear Monica say I'm engaged to a lunatic and I think this is why she decided to break things off because she realized that he was just there for the mess and he wasn't really serious about getting engaged 
Anyway, Monica sort of arrives and has a conversation with Brett and Tiffany and just tells them, thank you for being a positive role model. You make some of us believe in love, but um, I've been having issues with Jackie and Josh because they were upset that I went and I spoke about my engagement to Josh, but this was common knowledge amongst all of us. So I don't know why they felt some type of way. This always happens every time the show comes out that people will reveal that they were engaged but the producers didn't pick them. And I think seeing the edit of Josh proposing to Monica and then what happened at the reveal, I see why they didn't pick them because they realized that it wasn't genuine. I see why they chose to go back and rather focus on a, um, couples like um, Zach and Bliss than to, to, to bring in Josh because they could have easily brought in Josh and Monica to replace Zach once he and Irina broke up but I think they realized that it wasn't genuine and this is why they chose somebody else so Monica calls Jackie for a chat because apparently they were very close friends they were the closest of all the four of them and so she is worried that Jackie feels some type of way about her and wants to address whatever issues Jackie has with her and apparently it seems Monica actually drafted whatever she was going to release and she sent it to Jackie two days before she released it so Jackie knew it was being released and she knew exactly what was being released so there was nothing different from what she sent to Jackie um but then Jackie was upset about the blogs and she's Monica is saying I didn't speak to any blogs the blog blo bloggers are going to do what gives them traffic so if it means twisting and turning and adding and minusing whatever they're going to do that because all they're after is 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 traffic to their to their sites or traffic to their channels so you can't blame someone for what a blogger said unless they're quoting the words out of monica's mouth um and jackie was just trying to keep quiet i think she just didn't want to address it but at the same time she didn't want to ignore monica whether the producers insisted that they have this conversation and in the end monica had to ask for josh to be called because jackie wouldn't say anything and so when josh was called he started being petty and i i don't think things are right between josh and and jackie because monica said i have always supported you even when you have your issues with josh i still support you and then Josh came there and he's accusing Monica of cloud chasing and he's like, Josh, you're cloud chasing. You went up to Jackie because you knew Jackie was coming with a lot of cloud. So for you to suddenly say she's cloud chasing, that's you. That is you. You were able to get followers after you re sort of coupled with Jackie. Before you were coupled up with Jackie, people barely knew who you were outside of the incident with Marshall in the ponds, nothing else. You really didn't stand out. So you were cloud chasing. This is why you're in this relationship with Jackie because nothing you've done or said shows that you really like Jackie that, that way. It shows that you're tolerating her, but it doesn't show that you really love her and are very protective of her because you then start going, Oh, you're cloud chasing, you're cloud chasing. And Jackie walks out and it's like, oh, why is she walking out? What's going on? Because even when Josh followed her outside, she was saying, I'm tired of the drama. I don't want any more drama. And it's like, what exactly is going on between Josh and, and Jackie? I think they're staying together because they know how bad it will look when they break up and people are going to clown Jackie. And so instead of people clowning her, I think she's putting up with a lot from Josh. And then Josh leaves the outside and says, I'm going to get my bag taken off. And it's like, why do you need to go and go inside? There's cameraman taking pictures of you recording you at the moment why not get them to remove the mic pack and you go and then he goes inside to go and complain to chelsea and it's like make it make sense and for you know josh to go in and start complaining all oh, cloud chasing cloud chasing to to chelsea it's like why why <laughs> i'm happy that chelsea told him that you have jackie you don't need to worry about monica and you don't need to accuse her of cloud chasing go and look after your woman and that's it and Marshall is there busy eating ham and just ignoring them and pretending like he's not there. I love it for him. I love it for him. And Jackie is going to regret this decision she made. But then at the same time, you can't force someone to love someone they don't. But I think if nothing else, I hope she sees the qualities that Marshall had and realizes that maybe that's what she needs more in her life than someone who bosses up. Because the man who's bossing up is not really looking out for her. He's not doing anything to to show that he really cares about her so i don't know how that will play out for them i'm surprised that we didn't get a conclusion on them maybe because they were not in the best of places anyway um they, we then get to see the 
Brown sort of packing up and going back to Portland. They seem very happy. They seem to be in a very good place. So that's beautiful to see. Um, you know, they are looking forward to their marriage and they are continuing their marriage and sort of are making plans on the future, which is nice. Um, I really don't follow them on, on um Instagram, so I don't know what they've been up to, but it's cute to see that they are still in a happy place. And the difference between I think Brett and Tiffany, or the the difference between season four couples and previous couples is because season four they were a bit older one i think there were people that had done work on themselves too and i think there were people that were really seriously looking for their life partner because outside of the drama with kwame and micah all of them seem to have come there with their sole goal of finding their life partner i know zach was running away from his emotions and was worried that you know he might not be good enough for bliss as he said but it was beautiful to see all of them sort of summarize what marriage means to them and how you know they're looking forward to continuing to work and build on their marriages and even if you see them what i like as well is they're not really social social media people they're not posting about their relationships every single time like bliss and zach will post maybe once a week or once every other couple of weeks um they mainly keep their relationship private which i like for them yeah as friends we want to see where they are and i think when they were in europe they posted a lot more than when they came back home they sort of going back into just focusing on them and their relationship because even after after the altar air uh, they said you know i think they sort of said goodbye to everyone and i think they're going to try and be as private as they can about their relationship and maybe from time to time they will share their life with people but hey it's cute to see that all three couples are still happily married and are still focused on the building their relationships with their life partners and nothing else and it was nice to see that they're not toxic there's no drama between the married couple so this was really cute this was a very positive outcome if nothing else i think uh love is blind should have promoted the hell out of the couples from season four because they were their most positive outcome in my opinion but anyway i digress thanks guys for watching please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe bye everyone